Hi, welcome back. Last time, you had to practice these patterns. One, two, three, four. Which is the regular cascara and clave patterns that you would play in any salsa or Latin band. Usually, this groove will be played at a faster speed. Something like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, it's a groove in itself. Today, I have a different exercise for you. This consists of the same cascara pattern, but now we are going to change the clave pattern. Okay? This next uh, uh, clave pattern remains the same in its configuration, which means there is two bits first and there is three bits later. Okay? But we place it on a different place. All right. The original one, the one that you were learning first, starts on the second beat of the first measure. This one, however, starts on the first beat of the first measure. So when you see the chart on the screen, you will see that on the first bar, you will have three notes now instead of just two. And on the second bar, you will have two notes instead of three. But the configuration, the distance in between the, the, the beats or the notes that we play, is the same distance. So we keep the same tension between one note and the next one. And this is, again, coming from the idea of uh, uh, using the musical knowledge of intervals and, and uh, inverting chords that I was talking last time. This time, it has more to do with intervals. See, when you play, again, I, I'm going to make it really short so that you don't get bored with this. But this is something that I want to tell you. This is uh, about the intervals. When you play a chord, you play the notes one, three, and five. Yes, that's, that refers to the distance between notes. If you play a C major chord, you play C, E, and G. There's a distance in between those those three notes. Now, if you were to play just three notes, one next to the other, you would play C, C sharp, and D. It will not sound. I guarantee you, you go and check it. It just doesn't sound. Now, when you play rhythms and you take, for instance, the clave, it consists of five notes. In this, what we are learning now, it consists of five notes where you play two notes first and three notes later. Now, if we were to play just randomly five notes or one after another, something like. Now, that it doesn't groove so much, does it? If you compare it with. This has a groove in itself. So that is the uh, philosophy behind these patterns. We change the position of the patterns, but we respect the distance in between the beats. Let's do it. I'll show you first uh, slow, and then you can go practice. How is that? One, two, one, two, three, four. I'll do it again. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I played it this time four times, so, so that you can really listen to it. Of course, you can always rewind and start again to, to really grasp it, all right? Now, your exercise now will be to learn in this pattern, and you have to combine this pattern with the one that you learned in the lesson, lesson previous to this one. You will get something like this. 
both together at a slightly faster tempo. This is what you get. And I'm just going to play now the, the, the cast, sorry, the cascara pattern stays the same, but the, the, the clave pattern, I'm going to play the one that you learned first and the one that, that you're learning now, okay? It's one after each other, something like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay? Now, if I were to just fool around with my timbales, playing exactly that, what I just did, then you, you could do something like this. And this does not have to be like a timbal solo, but when you later, when you put this on the drum set, yes, you will see how many ideas you get from this. But imagine, I'll do just one, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Those were the first clave on the on the drums and the second clave also on the drums, yeah, making a different pattern. Now I would I'm just going to combine them randomly, okay? One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> can take it from there practice those those patterns always keeping the cascade on your right hand and play the variations on your left hand now this is already something that you have to work on it okay later I will show you some other ideas for you to play on your drum set however if you just want to play timbales it's fine with me of course it's all up to you but uh, if you're a drummer I think you're going to like it because you get all kinds of different ideas. For instance, uh, we have more, more drums on a drum set and, and more textures, so we can, we can play with that. And I'm sure you're going to like it. Like I like it very much myself too. So click on subscribe and the little bell, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.